Howdy, how y'all doing today? <laughs> you know, years ago, um, I always had pictured in my head the perfect wife, you know. Uh, I always thought she'd be beautiful and cheerful and, you know, she could marry a movie star, but she wanted only me. Hmm. And her hair would never need curlers or beauty shops. And her beauty wouldn't run in the rain. She'd never be sick and she's allergic to jewelry. And she would insist on moving the furniture by herself because she thought it would be good for her figure. She would be an expert in cooking, cleaning the house, fixing the car or the TV, even paint the house and keeping real quiet. Her favorite hobbies would be mowing the yard and raking leaves, and she'd hate charge cards. Hate them. Her favorite expression would be, what can I do for you, honey? She wished I would go out with the boys a little bit more often on the weekend so she could get some sewing done. And she'd love me because she thought I was sexy. But, that ain't what I got. <laughs> what I wound up with was one that could speak 140 words a minute with gust up to 180. And sometimes I could look at her and swear she used to be a model for a totem pole. <laughs> and where there's smoke, yep, she's a-cooking. But I, I can say this, she was a light eater. Yep, once it got light outside, she started eating. And she let me know quite often that uh, I only had two faults about me. Just two. Everything I did and everything I said. And no matter what she did with it, her hair always looked like an explosion in a steel wool factory. And if I ever got lost in town or out on a country road or out in a boondock somewhere or down in the swamp, if I ever got lost, all I had to do was open my wallet. She'd find me. <laughs>